Ooh, chocolate. Hey everyone, Jason here. Halloween is just around the corner and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to bust out my EV3 kit and see if I could build some kind of robotic sugar delivery system. Now, I don't know about other parts of the world, but here in Canada, it's very common for people to give out these little mini chocolate bars during Halloween. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to build a robot that would throw them at the kids that come to our door. Now, as far as Mindstorms robots go, this one is extremely simple. We have a gravity feed system here where all the chocolates are stacked one on top of each other. At the bottom of this feed system is this arm attached to this motor so that when the motor is activated, the arm pushes the chocolate at the bottom of the stack onto the throwing platform. When the arm retracts, the rest of the chocolates drop down. After the chocolate lands on the platform, this motor will be activated, which will flip the platform up in order to throw the chocolate. And all that sequencing is just done via timing. There's an infrared sensor at the front here, which will trigger the entire sequence when it detects something in front of the machine. And in this way, I hope the kids will just be able to put their bags in front of the machine and it'll throw a chocolate into it. We'll see how well that works out. One thing to note, of course, is that not all of these mini chocolates are the same size. The Kit Kats, Coffee Crisp, Smarties, and even these Popeye candy sticks are all about the same size, so they work really well together. But, for example, these Mars bars and Snickers bars are considerably smaller, and these caramels are a lot thinner. So I have designed the feeding system to be adjustable. You can adjust the width just by sliding the sides in and out. And now that it's thinner, for example, it'll be a lot better for the Snickers and Mars bars. You can also slide the front part of the feed system in and out to change the thickness of the channel. And you can also slide this piece up and down to change the size of the opening at the bottom to ensure that only one chocolate comes out at a time. I have created building instructions for this model, which you can find over at jkbrickworks.com, along with the program file for running it. So if you do have an EV3 kit, you can try and build one of your own. As always, hope you enjoyed the model and the video. Thanks for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you next time. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. This project has not been good for my sugar intake. Mm-hmm.